Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. If everyone in the world had your personality, what would the world look like? We'd be able to load 160 passengers in an airplane in 3 minutes. We need more people like you in this world. Please, for the love of all that is good, reproduce. Add it to the bag of pickup lines. For a few months there would be peace on earth. Then everything would collapse because nothing important is getting done. Would it though? What's really important anyway? Food and clean water come to mind, and electricity. You wouldn't see anyone. All would stay home. Pandemic never would have happened lol. But the effect would be the same. It would be quiet. I've adapted my inability to talk to new people to being a good listener. The world would be filled with people willing to listen but no one knowing how to start a conversation. Mine would be loud. Too loud. Yes. Let the volume crescendo. The universal greeting would be hey man. Even the presidential address. Even the Pope being elected. Even what a baby says when it's first born. Hey man. Hey man. Dude the autism would be off the charts. You'd be the only benchmark, so technically wherever you're at would be the chart. Oh this would be astounding. Nobody would be able to work together, not because I am a self-centered person but because nobody would share their ideas for fear of being told that they are stupid. Another thing might be that all shows would be on one streaming service because spending money on 10 different streaming services would be the one problem everyone would express that they hated. Never be afraid of looking stupid. Most times I bring up something I'm confused about or new ideas, others are also in the same boat. It's a great way to learn and help others voice their own opinions. Who cares about what judgmental assholes think anyway really? Yup one thing I learned from my first job was don't be afraid to ask questions or you'd just look stupid messing things up. None of my favorite shows would ever get cancelled. This was a surprisingly sweet response in the midst of utter chaos. Um there would be a lot of people laughing at their own jokes. There's two of us then. Ha 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 ha, pausing again to ponder at my genius comment, ha 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 ha. Sometimes if you listen very carefully, you can hear you forward slash morama guess genius. That episode of Spogabob where they show all the little Spogabobs in the brain panicking and lighting things on fire. All of civilization would collapse. Not because of war, or because of resource scarcity. The end of the world would happen because no one would show up to work on time and would lose interest in whatever job they were doing because they were watching cat videos on the internet. Edit, my first silver. Woo. Edit x2, y'all gave me a gold. For this. You like me. You really really like me. Very productive, extremely efficient but everyone would have serious mental health and blood pressure problems due to rage if things did go well. You would only have yourself to blame. It would vacillate between periods of more things being done than one can imagine, and nothing getting done at all. Also, a whole lot of arguing over everything and anything. Assuming everyone is at a random part of the cycle at any moment, this averages out into the normal world. Fire everywhere. Edit, I'm a convicted arsonist. At least you're an honest arsonist. Say that three times fast. Nothing would ever get done. Everything would get done, but at the last possible moment. There would be lots of unfolded clothes and many unfinished projects, but there would also be beautiful flowers and happy birds everywhere. Maybe you could train the birds to fold the clothing, like a Disney princess. The squirrels could be in charge of matching socks and the rabbits could put the folded clothing away into drawers. There would be a lot more people. Cuz horny. There'd be a lot less people. Cuz gay. You and me both. Our shallow underscore tessic, meet salami lungs. Do we have a love connection, here? Per second. Last time I posted I implied I was horny on Reddit I got three dicks on my DMS, never again. Like in idiocracy, but instead of dumb everyone is stoned and depressed. Why did you just describe real life this is supposed to be a fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. If the whole world were me, we would all just finish each other's sentences with vaguely related song lyrics. No wars, no conflict between nations, etc, just because we could not be bothered to take it that far. 
We would just talk things over a pint and some good food. We would be trying to do what's best for our country, while trying to move towards a united earth. Cheers brother, I would have some beers and good food with you. But of course I would because I would be you I guess. Everyone would be introverted and prefer to stay at home, doing hobbies. I guess hobby artists and aim forward slash manga fans would be on the rise. I'm on the opposite end with regards to art. I feel like if the world was just me, there would be very little music and art. It's not that I don't appreciate it, but I'm not the type to create it. Same, I like to consume it but have no motivation or skill to create it. I'd be surrounded by assholes. Keep firing, assholes. That is an absolutely horrifying thought. The world would be complete and utter chaos. God nothing would get done. Something will get done, only we'll do it tomorrow. Peace would reign. But the world would also stagnate due to laziness. Netflix and food delivery would be the biggest companies in the world. No they won't. You are running them, and you are lazy. That's a valid point. Guess it's the end of the human race then. It would take much longer for decisions to be made. It's whatever you guys want honestly. I personally don't mind, it's whatever you guys want. I good with either or, you guys can decide. I'm not too picky, you guys can choose. Estonian. So stoned. Greater than. Much more sea creatures because I hate seafood. A special ed classroom. It would be better. Because everyone would be dead. Oh my god it's the actuality Christ. Oh. Where? Nowhere here, obviously. Our forward slash user am checks out. A fucking mess. Free hugs for everyone. Overly verbose and neurotic. Very list oriented, detail oriented and a high amount of planning to maximize pragmatism. Very idealistic and fanciful. Also hard to tell because I am usually broke, so it what my personality would be like with money. Covid wouldn't have been an issue, for one. I leave my house about once a week when I don't have something forcing me. On the dowsed industry would grind to a halt because I have very few real world skills. Orgy planet. Just an insane amount of scissoring. This dude is horny horny. I've been told if there were two of me in this world we'd either end up killing each other or we'd take over the world if we managed to agree on something. I'm pretty sure it'd be a nuclear wasteland. I don't play well with people who think like me and magnifying that 7 billion times is not going to make things better. No one would be driving in the left lane except to pass. Except I like to pass everyone so would everyone be driving in the left lane. Everyone would drive the right speed and you wouldn't have to worry about it. So everyone driving 110 cool. Purposely scrolled until I found this, and same. Nothing boils my blood more than stupid passing lane campers. I flash my brights at them and they're either clueless or just plain stubborn. Stay out of the left lane unless passing should really be drilled into people's heads during driver's ed. Everyone would hate each other and themselves. There would be even more weed. Are oh, you'd just be smoking it all up. I'm a pretty conservative user these days tbh. Recently I've just been using like 20, 1 CBD, THC hemp flowers. Just want to re-legalize cannabis bc I feel it was a huge mistake to make it illegal, bc they didn't like Mexicans and black people, apparently. I used to smoke heavily, and I'd smoke like 7 plus grams of flour per day or 1 or 2 grams of concentrates a day. And some use more. However, there's no real limit on production except for laws. In the illegal market, there's no such thing as there's no weed left. In the legal market, same thing there's always more. It's even more efficient once it's fully involved with capitalism lol. Have you ever gone to your dispensary and they say no, sorry we're out. No, the shelves are fully stocked. TL, doctor, there's more where that came from. Either lawless anarchy or the only way you would be able to see is with a flashlight. One of us would start apologizing for this whole situation then we'd all keep apologizing until we die of hunger because we cannot stop apologizing. Sorry. We wouldn't have any YouTube videos to watch because I'm an introvert and don't want to be in front of the camera. I'd be behind the camera, 
bit no one would narrate the videos because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. A bunch of sarcastic assholes that love me aircraft, hot pockets, aim, AOT, MHA, are broke as hell, love children, prefer being with people a few years than themselves, stay in their room to escape from their family, non-athletic, and love junk food yet are skinny as hell and love sleeping 15 hours a day and complaining they didn't get enough sleep when they only slept 13 hours. It this is kind of vague. Teenagers. Hand over metabolism PLZ. Lazy pessimists. Paradise. Right now, the world would end because everyone would be curled in a ball having a mental breakdown and crying for three plus hours till their eyes are so swollen they can't see and they are so dehydrated from all the snot and tears. Sending you all the love and positivity you are wonderful and worthy of great things, don't ever forget it. Hope you are okay, life is worth it. <laughs>